Welcome to the introduction to the Vault ID Identity Repo, a mono repository by Vault ID that is open source, including many multi platform libraries, powerful APIs, and easy to use white label apps to build identity and wallet solutions. So, what do you get with the Vault ID Identity Repo? It includes our core multi platform libraries, which are available in Kotlin, Java, and JavaScript, services like the Issue API, Verify API, and Wallet API, and white label apps to make it easier for you to build applications or use cases end-to-end. -end. And all of that connects or uses external services like KMSs, trust registries, data storage, and TSP signatures. Let's now dive a little bit deeper into our multi-platform libraries and understand what you can do with them. The great thing is these libs can be used on its own, meaning you can pull them in into any Kotlin, Java, or JavaScript application and just use some features. So you don't need to use all of them every time. We have split them into three different categories. One, we have the core libraries, which offer you the core digital identity features, the credential libs, which help you to work with different credential formats and the ecosystems to abstract away any ecosystem specific functionality for you to use. Okay, so what do you get with the core digital identity features? Here we have the CryptoLib, which helps you manage different key pairs based on different algorithms. Then we have the DITLib, which helps you to manage different DITs from DIT key, DIT JWK, DIT EPSI, DIT checked, and many more. The OpenID for VC lib helps you implement protocol issuance verification. So for example, if you want to issue a verifiable credential via OpenID for VC, you can use the OpenID for VC lib to implement that. Then we have the SD lib that helps you create and verify selective disclosure, station web tokens. Those can be combined with verifiable credentials, but don't need to be. So you can also use it standalone. Then building on top, we have our credentials libs. These help you use different credential formats. So let's say the verifiable credentials lib for W3C credentials. So you can create them using different formats from chart to SD chart and JSON ID. Then the MDoc credentials, which helps you issue and verify MDoc credentials like the MDL. And the ecosystem libs from EPSI, Checked and IOTA that help you with things like the trust registry operations for DITs, issuers, verifiers, data, schemas or revocation, and also different onboarding flows. Now back at our overview. So now we covered all the multi-platform libraries, which can be used via NCLI, but are also included in our next layer, which is the services layer. So here we have different APIs. And all these APIs use the underlying multi-platform libraries to enable their functionality. So here, you get the issue API, which helps you to extend any application with issuance and token capabilities on any ecosystem. So for example, you could issue a verifiable diploma as an SD shot via OIDC for VC. The wallet API helps you turn any app into a digital identity wallet, where you can enable your users to store, manage and share credentials and tokens, manage their DITs, as well as the related keys. The Verify API, on the other hand, enables you to request credentials and tokens from users using different verification policies. Then on top of the services, we have our white label apps, which help you speed up development. Here, you can use our issue and verifier portal, as well as the wallet, which is a web-based wallet and also a progressive web app, to build any solutions quicker with your own style and data. With that, get started today and build your identity and wallet solution using the Vault ID Identity Repo. Click the link in the description to go directly to our GitHub and get started. Happy building and see you next time.